<laughs> oh gosh, this video is gonna be so awkward. Hey y'all, what is up? For those of y'all that don't know me, my name is Kimberly, I'm an American, and I make videos about Germany, so if that's your thing, maybe consider looking at my other YouTube videos or even hitting the subscribe button down below. And to all of the returning subscribers watching my videos, hey, how are y'all doing? I'm excited about today's new video because today I'm gonna be talking about the German language. My relationship with the German language has definitely been a very interesting one. I think we have its ups and its downs. We have its good times, we have its bad times. And uh, I haven't really, to be honest with y'all, I haven't really settled down yet and buckled down to really focus and learn the German language. I remember I used to call a Fahad a dog and I used to say Gesun Teig. No, I used to say, what did I used to say? Gesun Gesaitung, Gesaitung, like newspaper bless you. I don't even know. I was Hot Mess Express and I still currently am. And I'm about to showcase some of my Hot Mess Express words with y'all. So I thought, what better way to get accountability and improve my German than sharing with y'all some of my struggles. So these are gonna be everyday words that I really struggle with that I want to improve and I'm hoping that in three months I can make this video again and hopefully it will sound a lot better. So the German language is really hard for me because there's a lot of different types of letters that I haven't ever had to say. So it's really hard. It's like when I talk and when I say these words, I really have to consciously think about it. It's definitely not natural for me. So the German language is very hard for foreigners to learn because there are letters that we've just never really had to say. Especially for Americans, we have our R's that are very pronounced, the R sound and the German R is like in the back of your throat. Something that my German teacher did teach me, shout out to her if she's watching this, I highly doubt it, but yeah, sorry, I never went to class. But something that she did teach me was how to say the German R, and she taught me that by gargling, like acting like I'm gargling and just practicing that over and over again, that I could learn the German R. So I've learned how to Say the German R by just imagining that I'm gargling something. So it's, um, oh gosh, this video is going to be so awkward. I don't even know where I'm going with this. So let's get on to our video and talk about the words that I struggle with the most. So number one is Mädchen. <laughs> I have to say it so slowly. So, Mädchen, or, you know, girl, this word is so hard for me, and I think it's because the CH sound, the sound, is, it's very hard for me to have a letter behind the CH. Like, I can say ich, ich komme aus den USA, but when it comes to having a D behind it, I can't say it. Med Hin, me hin, me hin, me hin. It's just so hard. So, yeah, I really want to practice this word and get it down better because it's a struggle. I just, I don't know. It's, it's just hard with the D behind it. Okay, so word number two is brüchen. And you can probably figure out why. First off, it has the German R, which is very difficult, and it has the O, which is also hard, and then it has the CH, and then there's a T behind the CH. And if it was just like Brüchen, I could do that, but with the T, it's just hard because you have to remind yourself to pronounce the T and then go into the really hard sounding sound. So it's like Brüchen. Brötchen. Oh, 
that word is driving me crazy. Before I would just do it the American way, brochin, like good, yummy, okay. But now I really want to say it correctly. So for the past week or so, I've been trying to say it more often and trying to say it correctly because when you say things incorrectly over and over and over again, eventually it just kind of becomes permanent, I think. It's like with saying, ish i had to stop saying that and i had to say ish like the correct way and now i think i've kind of gotten that word down but i've been saying brochen for so long so now i'm trying to like reprogram my brain and brochen but i still know that that's not really correct and when i say it correctly in my brain it feels right and i know it but i don't know what i did so it's a really big struggle, but I'm gonna get it. I'm determined, especially because I eat brochen, brochen, so brochen, so much. So I really just want to be able to effortlessly say this word when I'm at a bakerai or a ein little number three. And I absolutely know I'm gonna butcher this just because I haven't even really practiced it because the word itself just intimidates me, and that is noodle 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 like huh y'all the l and the n makes it so hard for me i just don't know how to say it noodle noodle and noodle you knew hmm yeah i don't know i'm gonna have to definitely listen to that more noodle it sounds like an r almost Noodun. 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 I don't know. It's just hard for me. Number four, this is interesting because I feel like it's so similar to the English word, but also not in pronunciation. So it's orange. 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 I don't know. It just sounds weird to me because it feels like I should be saying orange and uh really random side note is i teach english online to chinese students and something that my chinese students really struggle with is this word in english instead of saying orange they say orange e and i feel like maybe it's because i'm so in my head about what my chinese students say and what it sounds like in german and what it sounds like in english i'm just so confused with this word in general so orange is hard for me but i don't have anything to pinpoint why it's hard for me i think it's more of a mental thing and uh yeah i just have to also something i always get mixed up is banana what is it how do y'all say y'all's banana but Y'all said y'all call pineapples a nana, and I've always thought that that was banana, but it's not, and that also really confuses me. Okay, so number five, this is something that I was first exposed to in my German class, something that I should probably do more of. Can you guess the word? No, okay, it's hure. <laughs> so, like, listen here, listen. Yeah, that word is really hard for me, and I think it's also because it has the, what is it called? The, the O with the two dots on top? I don't even know. But that word is extremely hard for me to say. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope y'all got a good laugh out of my um, crappy German language skills. But it's not going to stay like this forever, guys. I promise. Right? It's not? No? So, if y'all enjoyed this video or if y'all really dislike this video, please remember to give it either a like or a dislike. Thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all next time. Ciao, tschüss, bis dann.